Hello and welcome to another episode of Tales from the VHS Vault. <laughs> and today we're going to talk about a movie that's very near and dear oh, yeah. to our hearts. Um, a movie I don't even have on DVD. I would, like refuse to buy it on DVD because I only ever want to watch it on VHS. Mm -hmm. And that is The Three Amigos. <laughs> Just you mentioning that wanting to get it on DVD, I was the same way, and I was close, actually. I gave a couple of my VHS away to my sister, and I grabbed the three amigos, and the cover's a little shady there, yeah. it's a little shoddy. And I looked at it and was like, no, no yeah. way. Yeah. Like It's almost like it's glowing or yeah. something, I was like, no. Yeah. Right away you think of that beginning, yeah. Yeah. with the, the uh, Sports Illustrated, the bat and everything. <laughs> well, that's one of the charms and, you know, the things about VHS that you, you don't get with the DVD. And I remember I've had the DVD in my hands several times at a store, <laughs> right? about to buy and like, no. It's just not the same. I don't want to watch it on DVD, right? The commercials and the trailers before the movie is part of the viewing experience. <laughs> exactly, right? yeah. If I were to buy Three Amigos on DVD and didn't get that Sports Illustrated <laughs> or, or Making, Making Mr. Mr. Right, <laughs> the trailer yeah. for Making Mr. Right before the movie, it wouldn't be the same experience mm -hmm. if you just pop it in on DVD and it just goes right to the menu and it's like, nah, I don't, yeah, I don't want yeah. that. I want the whole thing. That's part of the magic. Yeah, The whole nostalgia is part of those, you know, the trailers before the movie. Exactly. You know? That making Mr. Right. I've actually never seen that movie Me either. Yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't mind. But, but yeah, with John Malkovich, yeah. he's all young. Super young, but that trailer is <laughs> burnt in my brain. Exactly, yeah. Where that woman, she's, you made love to an android? <laughs> we used to play this going way back with the with the with it playing on yeah. the TV. And we'd act it out. And we'd act it out. As the movie was unfolding <laughs> on TV. And we had our own belts yeah. with our, with the holsters and we had our own special guns just like <laughs> You know, yeah. our favorite characters yeah. in the movie, right? You're Lucky Day. I was Lucky Day, yeah. I'm Lucky Day! And I was Dusty Bottoms. Yeah. I'm Dusty Bottoms! Yeah, and we, have, we even had the little bell thing yeah. to simulate, like, the spurs. <laughs> yeah, ding, ding. <laughs> and, like, there was that scene with, uh, where they turned the lights on. Hey! What's going on up there? Dee -dee -dee. Let's go, amigos. We'd jump off the couch. The, off the couch, <laughs> yeah, we'd jump yeah. off the couch. This was probably right when we first met. Yeah, it was Pretty one, much. one of the first movies we really bonded over was Three Amigos. It's funny because there's only two of us. Yeah, we just somehow made it work. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I think that you had this movie and I didn't. Yeah, that's I watched how it worked, the movie yeah. because you already well, had I, it. Well, I know I had it, yeah, yeah for like yeah. for sure. Yeah. But I can't remember if you had it or no, not. No, I didn't. Though. I'd never seen it. I watched it because you had it. Oh, yeah, okay. And it's one of those movies like you can enjoy as a kid because it's fun mm -hmm. and adventurous and it's western and there's gunfights and you know. Yeah, you don't necessarily see all the comedic parts right. of it, but right? But then as, as you get older and you watch it, as you get older, you get, oh, the, the, the layers get peeled away like an onion, right? right like, yeah. Oh, there's more to this, the humor. <laughs> there's so many different layers for the humor. And, as you get older, you you get that, you know, the balls on the, the, the 007, Yeah, the right? little male plane. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's a male plane. How can you tell? Well, didn't you notice it's little balls? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, stuff like that, you, you don't really get as a kid. But no. You get it as you get older. It's so many subtle pieces, yeah. like when they're trying to break into El Guapo's lair there, and Ned gets stuck on those pinatas. Yeah. And just the simple fact of watching the party, and he's, he's all having a good time. He's all enjoying himself. As he's stuck there. <laughs> or another one you don't get as a kid when, when uh, Chevy Chase. Well, we could take a walk and you could kiss me on the veranda. Lips are fine. Yeah. Lips would be fine. Or in other words, he doesn't want to go down on her. <laughs> <laughs> or when he's playing the guitar, right? <laughs> Shows that old woman. <laughs> Every 
everything in this movie so subtle. Yeah, and a like, lot of subtle things in this movie. Yeah, like when they come up to the singing bush, and Ned and Luck and uh, Lucky Day they get, get off, off their, their horses, horses, and you see Chevy Chase get off his and on to one of the others, and then you see him. In the background, <laughs> in, like the back, it's in the background, super far, yeah. 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 But it, fuck, yeah. that's so fucking funny. Yeah, that's you know I love comedies <laughs> like this where it's not shoved down your throat like you know mm -hmm. the plunger. Like hey, it's funny now, don't you see how funny this movie yeah, is? Yeah, yeah. It's like no, you you have to. It takes five or ten watches yeah, to get, to get all everything. Of it. Yeah. yeah, to get all of it. You know? It's an intelligent comedy, right? Yeah. We watched it what last year? Yeah. And fuck, we were pissing Howling. ourselves laughing. Howling, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just so fucking funny. And it gets better with age, I, I think. Some of those movies like a fine wine, it gets better <laughs> yeah. with age. And it, it is kind of timeless because it's a period piece. Exactly. You've got Martin Short, Steve Martin, and Chevy Chase. Yeah. Three of like the some of the best comedic, 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 legends, yeah, yeah. comedic legends that have ever come to be. And you put three of them together. And sometimes when you do this, it doesn't quite work, right? Right, yeah. But it, people clash, right? Yeah, just doesn't, yeah. The chemistry yeah. isn't right. But this just, it just feels so natural, yeah. and it just works perfect. <laughs> it's one of the funniest <laughs> movies I think ever made. It's, yeah, it's, for me, it's I think it's one of the best comedies ever. I don't think I'll, I've ever laughed at anything so hard. You have some of the supporting roles too, like John Lovitz. You have Phil Hartman in it, so you have a lot of like the Saturday Night Live type crowd too. Yeah, yeah. So like, there's a lot of that feeling of a bit of family going yeah. on there too. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Wardrobe here. Right take, take the amigos', amigos clothes. clothes. <laughs> you can't take our clothes. <laughs> they gave them to us. I'd like to continue working for, for free, free, Mr. Flu. <laughs> <laughs> You have any idea what nada <laughs> means? What is that, a light chicken gravy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the movie is very quotable, too. We quote yeah. this movie all the time, you know, infamous. <laughs> infamous is, is when you're more than famous. This man, El Guapo, is not just famous, he's infamous. Infamous? <laughs> infamous? <laughs> I give you the 10 peso version. Yeah, yeah. Whenever we talk about something being like a cheap version of something or like in a half ass version, we call it the 10 peso version. <laughs> 23 pesos. We only have 10? <laughs> all right. I give you the 10 peso version. <laughs> Y'all cuts out all this important all the stuff. Important. <laughs> yeah, the thinking about this movie really takes me back to like. Summer nights in 1989. Like our moms, you gotta put your sweaters on. Yeah. Remember that? It's like, no, it's <laughs> yeah. gonna wreck our costumes. No, sweater goes on. Okay, now go out and play. So, if you have any great memories about Three Amigos, please let us know in the comments. But that's it. That's our little story yep. for um, how close uh, the Three Amigos is, near and dear to our hearts. What it's done for us as friends, how it's bonded us, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, pretty much, yeah. And uh, we'd like to hear from you if it's done the same. And until next time, keep drinking, amigos. <laughs> no had no beer, just tequila. What's tequila? It's like, like beer. beer. Well, okay, three tequilas. Sure, sure, amigos. <laughs> 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 oh, it's a little watered down.